everyone has a gift, everyone has a talent, and everyone has something that makes them special. Jordan has found this gift, Jordan has found his talent, and Jordan has found that something that makes him special. This is Jordan's story. Oh. I've known Jordan for six years. So in what capacity have you worked with Jordan? I was his teacher about three years ago, and in that year we decided to do a photography unit. But at that time, Jordan just, he wasn't interested in it. He didn't have a lot of faith in his photos, and so he didn't participate very much with us. So in your eyes, how do you think Jordan's changed over the years? Oh, well, when I first knew Jordan, he wouldn't make eye contact with teachers. He didn't speak to teachers. If he did, it might just be like one word answers or one word sentences. He didn't have confidence in his work, but now he looks at me when he wants to talk to me, he wants to show me his photos, and he makes eye contact, and he talks about how um, he's, very happy with his photography. Do you find that photography has given him the opportunities to communicate with yes, people? Yes, I do because Jordan now approaches me. Mm -hmm. I don't have to approach him. He comes up to me to show me his latest photos when he sees me. What message would you like to give Jordan? That I'm very proud of him, that he's come so far and that he is a good photographer and that I hope that he continues to do this for a long time. I could see through his photography he had found something he was passionate about. And this led him to make conversations with whoever wanted to listen. And he was making that great eye contact. This time, sometimes he even initiated those conversations. And people are amazed when they see Jordan's photos to find out they were taken by a 16 year old boy with a disability. to take photos since that's all I have at the moment. I like taking photos to show people everything that is around us. I get my ideas for my photos from other people including other photographers I follow on Instagram. My dream job would be to explore the world taking photos and showing people the wonders of the world. I want to be able to grow my business so I will be able to take my followers on trips that they couldn't afford, otherwise and give back to the community. I entered some of my photos into the Ipswich show. I felt a little nervous seeing my photos with other photographers. Having my photographs there, I got to see other people's work and like different angles and things I could use for my photos. This made me realise how much I want my own camera.